Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the WPBA Fairfield Invitational. This is Lonnie Fox Raymond, and you are tuned in to a B-side matchup at the WPBA Fairfield Invitational between Emily Duddy, the Billiard Bombshell, and Kaylee McIntosh, the Natural. All right, so it's lag for the first break. You guys see this? They're trying to decide... It's a tight one, huh? All right, let's, while they're looking this out, we're going to check out the match rules for this event. The lag for the first break, alternate breaks thereafter. Three-point break rule is in effect. The nine ball doesn't count on the break in the bottom corners. Three consecutive fouls is a loss of game. Cue balls, foul only. Let's go back and see. They're still trying to decide. Digital pool will update, and we will. Oh, as soon as that does, we'll get this match started. The scoring will begin. This is race to eight. I don't know if I've said that. Sorry, you guys. I got a couple of people walking around the booth in front of me. Um, this is lends itself to be a great matchup. I got a little history in this match. I believe that in Iron City, our last WPBA event, these ladies also played. And I believe Emily snuck out the Hill Hill Thriller. So we'll see how that goes today. I think Kaylee's pretty determined. She's been in here practicing this morning, and so has Emily. Um, real quick here, looks like Haley's won the first lag. We'll do her bio information. She's from Citrus Springs, Florida. Uh, she was born in Florida. She's currently ranked number nine on the WPBA. Her first WPBA event was in 2021. It was here. Her She plays with a Mez Ignite Shaft. She J Flowers Break Q and a Predator Airbus Jump Q. She's sponsored by Iron City Billiards. Team Straight Pool Eye, Billiard Livestream, and No Quit Apparel. I did not forget my jacket. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for tuning in. For those of you guys who are uh, not used to our process here, make sure you share, like, and subscribe to the WPBA YouTube. And if you're full screen, please pull back, hit the thumbs up button for me, and, uh, and enjoy the show. Looks like Haley's got a real opportunity to kind of start strong in this first match. First game. Well, oh, she overcut that just a tad. Well, about a half a diamond, actually. Tricky starting shot for Emily. She play this with a high ball and come one rail back out. She needs to get past the side pockets, ultimately. Right, so it looks like she she may have to. I can't tell the angle on this. Let's jump over. Uh, this is tricky. She uh, she needs to slide under the pink four and try not to hit it at all. Like that? A little bit hard. She wants to slow down some. She wants some angle on that pink four. She fell a little flat, but that should be fine for Emily. <clears throat> Speaking of Emily... Let's go back and check out Emily Duddy's bio. She is the Billiard Bombshell. Her first WPBA event was in 2010. It's the San Diego Classic. She's currently ranked number 15. She plays with the Jacoby Playing Q, a Blackout Jump Break Q with the Sport Grip. She's sponsored by Amsterdam Billiard Club, Jacoby Custom Qs, In The Zone Sportswear, Taeyeon Billiards, J Flower Custom Cases, Moonlighting Billiards, and Litman Lights. She also, when I asked her um, if there's anything that I would like to say, she wanted to say hi to her mom and her husband who are tuned in. So thank you guys for, for tuning in for Emily's match. Enjoy the show. Looks like Emily's going to draw first blood here. I'm waiting on the digital pool to update and start their match. So hopefully uh, they get that started. All right, Emily Duddy drawing first blood. One did nothing. This is a B-side matchup, so whoever loses this match is going home. Obviously, neither one of these ladies wants that to be the case. 
But somebody's got to be it, right? Somebody's got to be the one. All right, so it's kind of cool. We got a couple other tables around the room. We got over here, we got Pam Kelly uh, playing Tina Larson. That's kind of an interesting match. See how that goes. We also have uh, table six. We're going to go back to our stream table for the break here. Emily Duddy to break. Shout out to Diamond Billiard Tables, uh, Simonis Cloth, Aramith. Those are our ball sets that we use. And uh Outsville template rack, digital pool, servitude photography, jam up apparel. I don't think I forgot anyone, but if I did, I apologize. I'm sure I'll catch you later. <laughs> All right, so she felt pretty straight on this ball, and this this requires just an absolutely massive stroke. Oh, I like her just laying this up. This is not a bad option. She could just lay up on this one ball. Getting that window there that you guys seen her pointing at there. She's saying that she thinks that she needs to be right there. That eliminates the need for her to get too super fancy with the cue. She can just accept a little bit longer shot. I think the three goes in the same pocket as the two. So if it does, she should be able to make this and just come back through that window there um, of the pink four and the, the nine ball. Oh, she couldn't see it. She must have gotten a little hook there. Realize that. All right, so Kaylee comes back to the table. The combination to start. She needs to be mindful here. Um, <clears throat> if she hits this orange five right in the face and she's using bottom of the cue ball, there's a good chance that that two could drag in behind it. But luckily, with a little bit of bottom, she will have a shot on the three. Oh firm. She hit that one just a tad too much pace and then she ended up actually really kind of cutting the five ball. She could have just rolled that in and accepted, you know, that the two was going to be right there in front of the pocket. But sometimes... We question, we do things, and we're like, why did I do that? <laughs> All right, so looks like Emily, I, I think Emily has a clean shot on this two ball. Now, these ladies are on a mandatory 40-second shot clock. They get 60 seconds after the break. They get one extension per rack. And uh, they do have a legitimate timekeeper. So someone that sits there with them. I know you guys can't see it, but there's a shot clock, a digital shot clock, kind of right by where the camera is. So you'll see occasionally you see the ladies look over this direction. They're looking at the shot clock. Well, I hope you guys all slept well. I feel like I never left this place. I had to play the 10 o'clock match on the stream table last night. If you guys didn't see it, be glad. <laughs> the first six, seven racks were real ugly. But I did fix it, so. I did win my match last night, thanks. Um, but... It started off really rough, and uh, I had to take a break and regroup, and I had a little bit, I had a, a cue problem, I have a uh, bolt for my extension that's kind of giving me fits, and it keeps tinking, and it drives me nuts, and then, um, and I had a little bit of a, like, blue screen face, <laughs> so it took me a while to, like, settle in, the bright lights on the TV table are tough. Yeah, I did. Thanks, Corby. I did. Definitely caught a gear. All right, Emily. Starting off strong. You notice that? She stayed down, watched the ball move, or <laughs> followed through. She didn't move. 
too many words in one. So this is just a nice smooth steady stroke. She can just one rail back across. She could kind of get where her hand is. It would ultimately be perfect. She's going to over hit this a tiny bit. Well, at that point you want it to go, right? You don't want it to stop anymore. Now you want it to go so you can shoot it in the side pocket. Ooh, she's going to get it fortunate if it gets down there. Kaylee can make this ball. It's a bit of a tester, but uh, I've seen Kaylee make tougher shots, so I'm sure ultimately she would like to make this ball um, just to keep the match kind of even keeled, but it's early. Never know what's going to happen. She missed it. She tried to play. I think she tried to put a little spin on it. So uh, she ended up missing the ball and then kicking it out. She's left Emily a little tough here, though. Um, right? Touche. Emily left her a little tough. She left Emily a little tough. Yeah. Oh. I think she may try to cut this ball in just like that. Ladies and gentlemen, Emily Duddy has drained the nine ball. All right, it's two nothing in favor of Emily. I'm going to see if I can get this to refresh and update. Oh, there we go. All right, while Kaylee's rocking, let's pop over here. What's going on on table six? So... On table six, we have April Larson and Bonnie Arnold. I'll try to pop into that occasionally. And then table one, we have Pamela Kelly and uh, Emily, or Pamela Kelly and Tina Larson. That's who's there. Pam's up two to one, two to nothing. All right, back to the feature table. <laughs> oh yeah it's two two or one one no emily won the first track seth yeah it's one one did i say two no no it's not one and one emily won the first track it's two to zero emily made that last nine ball as well Oh, I guess Kaylee did win the first track. I don't know who I was watching shooting, huh? Somebody. Wasn't these one girls. <laughs> you guys got to give me some grace. Just two seconds to get acclimated to my world right now. No, you're right, Seth. I don't know why I thought Emily won the first track. I, I swore she did, but it must be she didn't. No, she did win the first track. I just looked out at the board. I don't know why or who's doing the the scoring for digital pool right now. I don't think these ladies are, but it's definitely two to zero. Um, I just looked out and saw their flip board. So it is definitely two to zero. I'm confused as well. I apologize. I knew that Kaylee hadn't won that first track. All right, let's get back to this match. That'll all fix itself. We'll get it figured out. Yeah, Hank, I agree. It's been rough. Uh, it's been a tough one, this tournament. No, you're fine. Don't be sorry. All right, Kaylee. I'd like to see her get a little determined. Um... Maybe not aggressively determined, but confidently determined. Um, and see how that goes. Angela put herself, oh, they. she's on a table that I can't hardly see. So at the moment, she is shooting. She's playing Joanne Ashton. 
she just made a great shot on the eight ball. But I can't see the score at the moment. So I'll try to... You guys might be able to go into uh, the live scoring on Digital Pool. Yeah, Emily won both racks so far. Looks like... Um, April the Grinder is playing quite well also. <laughs> yes, Lisa, Brittany is still in. Actually, Brittany and I play each other at 4.30 today. Emily comes back to the table. I don't know if this is a shot that she'll attempt to cut into the left-hand corner pocket, but she could maybe play a safety or a bank shot on this seven, bank it back to where she's standing. She could even bank it to the right-hand corner pocket as well. Either way she goes, she can kind of use the eight ball as a blocker, if that makes sense. Ultimately, it's just about feel, right? Like what someone's feeling like doing. See, I like that. She used that 8-9 as like a bit of a blocker. It's going to leak out. Kaylee's going to be able to see this ball, but she definitely doesn't have a makeable like cut shot. So see what Kaylee opts to do. Now, she has enough of this, which I believe she does. She should be able to bank that 7 out and keep that cue ball under that 9-8. She needs it to travel. It's not traveling. But, um, she's left a shot. It's not easy. I don't believe it's frozen. Sometimes when they're not frozen, it's actually kind of tougher. You'd almost rather those shots be froze, I think. Okay, looks like the score has updated itself, so that's great. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> yeah, Hank, we're working on that. No worries. We're totally working on that. That is in in the uh the notes for the future. It's really quite simple. We just haven't had the time to work on it. Angela and I both have regular real jobs. So, um and the equipment kind of goes back and forth between us and so Angela is taking the equipment home from here. And so with that, um, hopefully she can get some of that stuff done while we're, we're on our break before the uh, May event at Borderline. Maybe. Fingers crossed. Nice. Everybody say thank you to Hank. <laughs> thank you, Hank. All right, we had a little bit of back and forth action on that brown seven ball. Looks like Emily's going to come out winner in that exchange. Now here, she can go all the way around and shoot that eight in the side pocket. I think she, um, she actually, I think she ended up over hitting that ball. I think she wanted to make it in the corner. But... This is super makeable on this side, yeah. She can make it. She just needs to play it with control. Nice, smooth follow-through. Come around. One, two, three rails for the nine. The corner. Just like that. She didn't even go the third rail. She just went two. Nice shot. Emily Duddy, three to zero on Kaylee McIntosh. If you guys haven't done this, and you could take a second to back out of full screen, please, and hit the like, thumbs up button. Go ahead and take two seconds to do that while Emily Duddy is racking the balls, please. I would appreciate it. 
Let's check out over here and see what's going on with Bonnie Arnold and April the Grinder Larson. All right, two nothing in favor of April. Let's check in on Pam Kelly and uh, Tina Larson. Looks as be it's still two to zero in favor of Pam Kelly. All right, back for Emily Duddy's break. Um, you know, Corby, I'm not sure if we're going to you hook into their equipment or if we're just going to use ours for some of the creative control because I believe that their equipment is like single view. I'm not a thousand percent sure. I'm going to, we're going to have to talk to Janet and them a little bit before we get out there, but, uh, but yeah, I, whatever we need to do it. Janet believes that we'll have a place for our booth, everything. So, fingers crossed, it should be good. Oh, Kyle, thank you for tuning in. Make sure you're share, liking, and subscribing. Sharing's big right now, folks, just so you guys know. I would love it if you guys could take a second and just hit. When you back out right by your chat box, when you back out a full screen, Right by your chat box, there's a little thing that says share. If you guys could take a couple seconds to share this to some of your favorite uh, Facebook groups. Um, if you share it, it leaves it available for the morning session, which is three matches before we reboot for the afternoon session. So if you guys just get out there and share it, uh, then anytime they click on that link, they're gonna, it's going to bring them to us live this morning. You only have to share it one time for three matches. All right. Emily's grinding. She's getting it done. Taking advantage of some really strange mistakes by Kaylee McIntosh, and that's just kind of how pool is. We know that. There's kind of an ebb and flow in pool. You see a lot of, uh, we see a lot of, um, like, shift changes, momentum changes in pool, too. So somebody can be up four to zero, four to one, and then the momentum will shift. And sometimes it shifts again. I think that lends itself a little bit to the alternate break format here in the WPBA events because they use the alternate break format. Hi, Justin. So you can check out the bracket at digitalpool.com. See if I can get a link pin put in the chat for you guys. All right. Let's see. Sorry about that. I'm going to. Let's get back in there. There you go. <clears throat> this should be it. If I did that right, you guys bear with me. Did I not actually post the link? That's super weird. Huh. What's the score? Is it four to zero? Favor of Emily. I think it's four to zero. Good morning. Hi, Jude. For tuning in. Oh, 
Oh, everything's so slow. Oh, uh, Mike, yeah, for sure. <clears throat> yeah, thanks, Christy. I, man, I'm a hustler. <laughs> Every time you hear that, I'm a hustler, baby. I don't know why that song sticks in my head when we say that, but... Um, yeah, that's my job, Christy. So, we've got to do this sharing, you know. We've got to. That's, I mean, without the viewership, we can't continue to grow the stream. So, thank you so much to those of you who donate, to those of you who just hit the like button, to those of you who just share the stream. Like, every single person, you know, does something and it helps us all, right? Dreamwork makes the teamwork. Or wait, teamwork makes the dream work. Sorry, it's early, y'all. Mike, Jacka, yay! Thanks for the super. Yay! Yeah, and for those of you guys who are new or you're just kind of listening to the, the stream, when I say thank you, um, if you were to click into the chat, you could see that right where you can type your message into the chat, there's a little money symbol. Um, if these, these uh, super chats, donations, are people are hitting that little money symbol and sending us some dough in appreciation for the free stream. So um, if you're curious as to how they're doing that, that's how. They hit the little money symbol. And then when it pops up in our chat and we see it, we always give a shout out. So thanks so much, Mike Jacka. Thanks for tuning in. April is actually up three to no zero currently in her match on table six. So it's a good one. I'm not sure why our digital pool is not updating because the score is currently four to zero. Corby, be careful. I have pull. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's get back to the match. I need to stay focused on pool today. It's hard first match in the morning. I'm still a little bit out in left field. I'm still drinking my smoothie. Trying to settle. That's okay, Christy. If you have anybody that's a pool friend, maybe you know some people that play in your leagues or whatever, maybe just tag them in it. They may be able to share it for us. Sharing is caring. It's okay how you share. <laughs> Doesn't matter. No judgment. All right, so the score is not updated, but it is currently four to zero in favor of Emily, the billiard bombshell duddy. I think Emily may have had some spectators that were a little loud this morning. It's tough. The room's really quiet to start the day. So in order to settle in, I think sometimes the girls can hear all the background noises, right? Like all the little things. I actually prefer that people talk a little more. I can't stand like the whispers when people do the that drives me nuts. I'd rather them just talk. Like, I mean, in a low tone, but... 
Hi, Dave. Uh, you can go to digitalpool.com and go to the WPBA Fairfield Invitational. If they are on table three, they were on the stream table. We also have cameras kind of looking over table one and table six is our bonus coverage table. can definitely go check that out, Dave, and uh, follow your favorite lady player. Kaylee's back to the table with not with a great opportunity. Uh, I would cross over this and leave the cue ball kind of in the pocket under the seven. Bank the six back up. But I don't think that's a containing safety. I think she, uh, she either under or over hit that ball. These are our first round matches of the day. So typically, I feel like the ladies always come out a little like in the middle. Thanks, Corby. We do. We do. We have so many fun characters, strong players in the WPBA. It's the longest standing tour in North America. It's amazing. And we have one event a month this year. Can you believe that? That is insane. Our schedule is so intense this year. Already looking at the 2025 season. All right, Emily Duddy takes another. Score is five to zero. Goose egg for Kaylee McIntosh. This is the moment. Now see, I know that Kaylee's not a smoker and neither is Emily, right? But like this is the moment and obviously you don't want to do it because it's kind of rude to do it on your opponent's break. But like at this is this point where I think Kaylee or Emily uh, should take her break. Kaylee should take her break. But you try to be, um, there's like a courtesy, like an etiquette, right? And you don't really want to do it on your opponent's break. It's It's kind of rude, honestly. You see it happen a lot. And I mean, it is what it is, but... <laughs> but um, it's definitely like courtesy not to go if it's not your break but uh, you know occasionally you got to take that few minutes and recenter, regroup I had to do that last night against Kennedy when it was my my break I just you know I needed to step outside it was just compounding and getting worse I was playing terrible I needed to regroup so uh, taking that break can be absolutely necessary if you want to do well. And so, you know, you kind of have to. Oh, thanks, Lita. You figured out how to do it. It's your first super on a live stream. Congratulations to you and to us. Thank you so much for tuning in. We'll be here all day, literally all day. We'll have two different sessions throughout the day. Emily fouled there, trying to clip the edge of that one ball. So Kaylee comes to the table with the ball in hand. This might be exactly what she needs to kind of get started, right? Oh, thank you, Lita. Without us, there's, or without you guys, there is no us, so... We appreciate, I mean, we would still be here playing pool, but you guys wouldn't get to watch it. <laughs> All right, she needs that to bounce a little. Let's see what kind of angle she's got on this. I like this. Now, this is a preference, obviously, but I like playing this with a high ball and trying to dip down underneath the five. But just like that, she, and it leaves it, she's got plenty of angle to get to the six, right? And she can either drag draw this, or she can play short side shape, which is, means come back to kind of where she's standing. I would drag draw it, dip in, and she went for that. Kind of weird, I like that drag draw stroke. Now, I don't know, but it looks like this A-ball may go. 
don't know if she can cheat the pocket to make it in the combination. Yeah, me too, Red Dog. I totally did too. Totally did as well. I, uh, the 90s and Jeanette Lee and her leather pants. <laughs> that was I was all in. I was so intrigued. I didn't even start playing until I was like, I think I was like 19. But those ladies, I mean, that was the 90s. So those ladies were wild to watch play on ESPN. They were just so uh, full of life, right? Jeanette and Allison. Robin Dodson. Gerda. There are some good ones. All right, so here, Kaylee's, you know, obviously uh, she hit that six ball badly. She's got, I, sh I can't tell if she's got the edge of the seven. She's kicking all in. Well, Emily's going to come to the table with ball in hand. If that seven goes past the nine, which I'm sure it does. May not, but it sure looks like it does. I may just be a tad in the way. Right? You guys are naming off some oldies but goodies, right? Vivian, Karen, yeah, for sure. Great. I mean, if you think about it, they were a staple in pool, right? Like, like, they were the show. Their characters. Vivian was such a character, right? With a little tornado whirly thing she did with her finger. They get the crowd riled up. Right. I'm thinking, I don't know if Emily's getting aggressive here and going for the bank. She sure is. Trying to make a push there. <clears throat> I don't know why somebody keeps giving Kaylee a game. Positive the score is five to zero. But maybe I'm wrong, but I remember Kaylee winning. Yeah, Chris, so the three fall rule is in effect here. All right, it looks like uh, Emily is six to zero. There we go. I don't know what keeps happening with that. Let's do a pop over. Let's go see what's going on on table six here. Uh, Bonnie Arnold and April Grinder in the grind. They're in the grease right now. Three to three in a race to eight. It's a B side matchup. We also have Tina Larson and Pam Kelly. Tina is currently at the table, but she's down four to one. Looks like she got in the window there. All right, back to our feature table. Kaylee McIntosh to break the balls. Yeah, I don't know if you guys heard this. I've uh, seen it. Uh, Ava, Mattia Lawrence, um, her late husband, Jimmy Mattia, passed away yesterday in a long battle. Pam's up five to one, Jay. All right, thank you. Must be our digital pool hadn't updated that yet. Looks like Tina's got an uphill battle there, but um, it's not uncommon at that score line for someone to come back. <laughs> Seth, you better be nice. Knowing history doesn't make you old. There's a lot of history in the WPBA. 
Okay, so that's gonna work out okay for Kaylee. <clears throat> now I may want to shoot this, me personally, I may want to shoot this with high right hand English. And I mean, you're gonna have to take a bit of a caught on the five, but I just think that you killing the ball this way versus dragging it around, in my opinion, is a little bit more consistent shot. She actually undercut that ball. It kind of bobbled a little. That's right. Yes. Yeah. Lita, I don't know if you're thinking, you might be thinking about Mitch Lawrence, her current husband. He does all the commentary. I don't know that Jimmy did. All right, Kaylee McIntosh got herself on the board here, ladies and gentlemen. She's probably going, phew. Yeah. Yeah, Mitch is right. Mitch was the commentator with the ESPN. Yep. And he's currently still doing wonderful and alive and kicking. Nice. Didn't know that stuff. That's cool. All right, back to the action. I believe the score is six to one in favor of Emily. What's going on with the updating? So Emily made one ball on the break. And she got at least two balls past the head string. That's the combination of three points. <laughs> Yeah, Helena, good one to Erica for sure. All right, so Emily got a great little bump there. Nice little tab tappy to have a shot on the two. I couldn't have played out any more perfectly, to be honest. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. We appreciate you guys. Don't forget to share, like, and to subscribe. Uh, yeah, she uh, she shot the one ball first to get on the two, and the two ball came around two rails and bumped the, the two ball. It was beautiful. Okay, so you see Emily walking around the table. She's making sure she's in proper placement or knows exactly where she wants the cue ball to be. They are on a 40-second shot clock, so these ladies, luckily both these ladies, they move pretty quickly, so we don't have to worry much about that. I don't think we'll have too many problems. Emily is really good at time management with the shot clock, so she knows the appropriate time to call a uh, an extension when necessary. They do get one extension per rack. Follow shot here. She doesn't want it to fall straight in, so she's mindful not to let it overshoot. 
She's got enough angle there. You see her checking that out. And she's enjoying the background music here. Some little classic rocks playing in the background, giving Emily some some pimp juice. <laughs> I don't know if that's what it is, but I feel like it's a little bit of mojo, right, when you're enjoying the music that's playing. Yeah, so I favor Emily to make this ball just nice and smooth. She'll take the cue ball around two rails. She's going to let it go to three. That's a good shot. Emily Duddy should be on the hill, ladies and gentlemen. This is a race to eight. Alternate at break format. Kaylee McIntosh to break the balls. Let's pop over to table six and see what's going on over here. Score is currently four to three in favor of April Larson. Five to two in favor of uh, Pam Kelly on table one. Want to miss Kaylee's break? This is our feature match. Should I, uh Kaylee's got to get some nice stuff together here. Yeah, Emily's playing great this morning. She came in pretty determined. I think Emily really enjoys being on the stream as well. And uh, so we typically see the best Emily when we put her on the camera. <laughs> she likes that. I don't blame her. I mean, it, there's something about when you're playing on the stream um, showing your skills, you know? There's something about that that is empowering if you're if you're the kind of person who enjoys it. A little back history. I think I told you guys this earlier and I don't know if uh, any of the new people in the chat or in the uh, stream have heard me. These ladies played at uh, Iron City Billiards at our last event and they had a Hill Hill Thriller match and Emily came out winner so Kaylee may be wanting a little revenge and Emily be Emily may be pretty determined not to let that happen so I figured this was going to be a great stream match yeah Emily's got a huge following and I mean she's just kind of a staple in American pool I don't know if you guys watched her on the show, The Hustlers. She was so much fun in that. And then she also did uh, the show about um, being a female pool player and what if she was a boy. And she went through all this makeup transition and pretended she was a man, which I know was hard for Emily because Emily is so feminine. So <laughs> I'm sure it was tough even get her to, to walk like a dude. <laughs> like... She's uh she's all girl. Where well, there's nothing wrong with that. At least she she definitely absorbs that. We like Emily just the way she is. Yeah, I know. Oh, what's going on with this thing? Let's see if we can get it to refresh up for us. Oh, still I don't know. We know that the score is 7-1 to one in favor of Emily Duddy. She's currently on the hill, and she has a real opportunity here. So she can make this two, just come back out. I would try not to get too fancy. She may come all the way past. Oh, she bumped the six. I didn't like that. I think she needed to avoid that. Um, she could have rolled it in and accepted the longer shot on the three, or she could have tried to cut it real thin and just come back across past this nine ball and back out to the center. Um, but now she's in a definite position. It's like she's going to go two rails underneath this three. She went one rail at it. She's going to let Kaylee have an opportunity here. Kaylee really needs to buckle down and finish this rack. I think that she's perfectly fine. She should be able to make that three past that six.
There you go. Nice touch by Kaylee. You know, they call this girl the natural, and I met her a few years ago, and um, she's just such a straight shooter. I mean, she doesn't seem super comfortable here at Iowa today, or for this weekend, but she is just, when the natural is, is no joke. Oh, oh, gave some sound effects there. I almost pulled an Angela. <laughs> yeah, for sure, Mike. I mean, I don't know about you, but I, I feel like Emily is all girl. Like, she's just happy and she's beautiful and she's fun. And Kaylee is amazing. Yeah. It's a great first round matchup for the day, isn't it? All right. Seven to two. Kaylee is making a little play here, taking advantage of that mistake by Emily. Emily's truly, I truly believe Emily should have been out on their rack, but it does happen. <laughs> Mike. Yep. I don't believe in that. <laughs> All right, well, Emily's racking. Let's check over here and see what's going on. April's at the table shooting the nine ball. She's currently up five to three. This is going to put her on six against Bonnie Arnold, the face. What's going on over here? Looks like uh, Tina is grinding her way back. Score is currently five to three versus Pamela Kelly. They're kind of from the same area, so I'm sure they've played each other a million times over the years. Absolutely. Oh, I missed the break. Sorry, folks. Sorry about that. Now, at this point in the match, right, if Emily's sitting on the hill... And she is, no matter what digital pool says, I can see her scorecard. She is up seven to three, two, two. Sorry, there was a drink in front of Kaylee's number. <laughs> seven to two. Um, she needs to just settle down and wait for opportunity. It's an alternate break format. So she's, it's a given she's going to get another opportunity. Didn't try to get too aggressive without reason or she doesn't want this to land on the rail. Big bounce. Well, this is a little tricky. Yeah, see, I don't know how I feel about this. Now, she can dig in. Even if she can dig in, she's sliding the cue the wrong direction. Yeah. She may have to opt for the combination. Just got a little combination there. Or she can swing for the big shot to the right-hand corner pocket. Beautiful. Beautiful shot by Emily. That is a tough combination. Jay, men are definitely beautiful and fun. Some men are a bit more beautiful than others, though I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Right. She wants it to either go or slow down. And she might, well, that's the orange five down there, isn't it? It's not the brown seven. She's got to hit this so pure. She's got to hit this so pure to draw this ball back like that. She, she could have hit, oh, she almost couldn't hit that much better. She need that angle is acceptable. You need it. Just a little bit more, you know, there's, it's a little bit longer than she really wanted, but totally makeable. Just 
to just pocket the ball and get back up table a little bit. Whoa, you see Emily slowing the ball down. Just talking to the air myth balls. Little bit of an, another little tester here. Sometimes when we want to win, they make sure that we don't get to do it easily. <laughs> yeah, a little quick in that. She kind of, she only took a couple practice strokes and then just kind of swung. Well, let's see what Kaylee comes up with here. When she could get aggressive, she could thin it and try to come around and put the cue ball at the other end. She could bank it wide and try to stick the cue ball under the nine. She went for it. Why well, you like that, ladies and gentlemen? Kaylee McIntosh said, get in the hole. Not a girl. Great shot. Especially because it's like a make it or lose situation for her. Be out of the tournament. Tournament. <laughs> tournament. All right, Kaylee. Closing up that gap a little bit. Seven to three. Emily's still on the, on the hill, trying to win the match. Down here. April Larson or six to three. Looks like these ladies have taken a break. Back to the action. Kaylee McIntosh to break the balls. Kaylee has a great break. When she settles in and starts breaking the balls the way that she does, it is so good. So good. So, now, if Kaylee can see this Bluetooth, guess she can't. She's going to have to kick up table at it. I watched her practice some of these. I know that she, uh, know that she, uh, she knows how these react. Um, if she could have seen it all, it was kind of free swing, right? Because the three is down table. But here she's going to have to kick. Right? Get down there. She wants it to go. All right. So she caught that. She definitely kept Emily locked up back here at this end. With all them balls down there, she was likely to find something to hide behind. Right, this is tricky. She has to decide if she's going to kick. Mind you, um, oh, maybe she can spin around the pink floor and see the edge of this ball. Oh, she's, she was definitely kicking. If Kaylee can see any of this too, it's a small amount. I don't think she can, and even still, it might be. It's like she's gonna have to kick. I don't know which I prefer. If I would kick at the one railer from the pink four. Look at this. Oh, Emily has her chance. Here's another chance to try to sink close out this match. Yeah, so if Kaylee caught a gear, Kaylee is brutal. Um, her break is so good. Uh, I played her in Wisconsin, and she would make three and four balls on every break. And so if she happened to win on my break, it was a two-pack for sure. So um, I had a really big lead on her in Wisconsin, and then she'd like two-pack me 
<laughs> and then I went in, and then she two-packed me, and she eventually caught up. We ended up having a hill-hill match. It was pretty intense. She got me on the hill, but then we played here as well. I got a big jump on her, and she started to fight back. And uh, I got a couple good rolls um, from her mistakes that allowed me, you know, like ball in hand to get out, things like that. Um, and I was just able to capitalize on a few really strange mistakes by Kaylee. But her break is so good. After the match, I was not lying. I was like, I would love to spend a couple of days with you just talking to you about your break. <laughs> like, it's beautiful. You can tell she's put the time in for that. Emily also has a nice break. And you hear a lot of people say the break is the most important shot of the game of the game. And so mastering the break is also one of the hardest things to do. Okay, bombshell's working hard, isn't she? She's got a little bit of a tester on this five. I mean, I definitely favor Emily to make this ball. She's just gotta do all the work, right? She just turned and looked at the shot keeper or the timekeeper, so she wanted to take her extension, which I think is smart. She's got to make sure she does the work here. And I think what she's looking at there, if you guys are, yeah, she's just making sure that she's not going to clip that eight. She's going to play this with a high ball, maybe a tiny bit of right-hand English. She doesn't want to clip the eight. That allows the cue ball to travel in between the six and the eight and allow her to get position on that six in the side pocket. Got to keep working that. Every ball, due diligence, but she doesn't have a shot clock extension anymore, so. Oh, she's going to be a little upset about that. Kaylee needs to take full advantage, though. Now, she did leave Kaylee tough here, but Kaylee can make this ball. She, uh, she's only four diamonds away from it. One, two, three, four, four diamonds away in distance. And if you think about it now, four diamonds away is not that far. Um, if you were on a bar table, four diamonds wouldn't feel that far away at all, right? It's just about commitment and no deceleration in the backstroke. She's going to go back and forth, I think. All right, she needs it to go. Oh, 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 what is going on? All right, that's okay, though. This is totally, and this lends itself perfectly to shape on the nine ball. So she'll just, you know, put a little bottom on the ball, a little below center, and just slide that cue ball over one rail for the nine in the same pocket. Just like that, a little bounce. Make sure she's got full cue ball. Great shot by Kaylee McIntosh. All right, Kaylee McIntosh. Score is currently seven to four. Um, it's not refreshing, but it is seven to four. All right, Kaylee, I think she's got a real opportunity here. Yep, I'm pretty sure. The two is a little wonky, right? Is that a word? Wonky? Uh, two is a little wonky.
The two is a little strange. I think Kaylee went and looked at it, trying to decide what she could do there. Um, the three ball's real bad. There's some work to do on this rack for sure. Now, Kaylee could draw this out like this. She could play the carom into the six. That'll push the two towards that top right-hand corner pocket in your view. Um, yeah, just to be careful, mindful of the speed on this. She doesn't want that two to get away from her. Like that. Oh, don't fall straight. Oh, a little straight. But she's close enough to it that if she wanted to, to you know, fire up and uh, put a big draw stroke on this shot, she totally can. She's close enough to it that she can get that type of draw where it hesitates and accelerates afterwards and slings shots back towards her. She definitely can, uh, and she has the stroke for that. That I promise. The only, the biggest problem with that here is that the three ball is tucked under that nine. So she's got to really be back on this end rail. Ultimately, kind of where that piece of chalk is, right? Just like that. She's got that stroke. Look at this. Oh, beautiful shot. She's even laying into the right position to go into the pink four. Feels a little strange, isn't it? It's almost kind of hard to see. Yeah, that nine may be a tad from the overhead view or from this view. It doesn't look like the nine ball is really an issue. And it may not be, but what really may be the issue is what's going to happen with the pink four. If she's going to go into it, she tried to move it. She needs that cue ball not to do that. Big bounce. All right. Now she's sitting in another position here. She's got, in order to get back on that five, the orange five there at the other end of the table, she's going to have to slide past that nine. She's not going to want to hit that nine ball. So she may have to put a little draw on this ball, and what's going to happen is she's going to drag it around this left-hand corner pocket. I don't know if she's playing high ball, but I'm hoping she's drawing around it. Like that. What a great shot. The ball needs to slow down. Slow down. Yeah. That's a good shot. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I am not particular to who wins this match at all. I just like a good match. So, if this thing got to Hill Hill, I'd be so happy I'm like a little kid. All right. Nice touch by Kaylee. You guys can see here, this is pretty textbook. She may want to draw it a little bit so she's not shooting away from the nine, her cue ball, after she makes the eight. Just like that. She may have overhit that a tiny bit, but she can't really go wrong. She just needs to make sure that she pockets the ball. No matter what, I think this is super makeable. She doesn't want to cut it too thin. She just wants to, to roll it in. Um, I don't know if I would sling it around like back and forth. She can go two rails, but I don't think she has to. She's going back and forth. Oh, beautiful shot by Kaylee. Oh, she really trusts her stroke there. That was a great shot. All right, 7-5. Emily's been on the hill for the last three racks. Shout out to Kaylee's mom and dad. I don't think they're here, but I would assume they're probably watching. Um, thanks for tuning in if you guys are here. And of course, Emily's mom and her husband. Thank you guys for tuning in. I know you guys are probably sitting at home going, come on, Em. <laughs>
right. So she has broken dry and she has not really left a shot on the one. Now, yeah, so she can play this one ball reel first, but it definitely doesn't lend itself. It's actually, there's a scratch in the right hand top corner reel first on this. Um, and it doesn't lend itself to Emily getting on the two ball. So I think Emily may opt to try to kick this one ball over to that six. Oh, she went for it. Yeah, I didn't see her do anything to try to line up that real first kick shot. So um, my suggestion there was maybe just to take a couple extra seconds to, uh, especially because that's the first shot after the break, so you get 60 seconds. Take a couple extra seconds and and make sure you line up that rail first because there is a way to do it. And we know Emily knows how to do that. Um, it just felt like she kind of rushed that. Maybe she's a little frustrated that she's letting Kaylee back in the match. I don't know. You guys know how momentum changes are. You could be three different pool players in one match race to eight. <laughs> you literally can be three different pool players. It's insane how true that is. I always tell people I never know which personality is going to show up and I might have three before the end of the match fighting with each other. <laughs> All right, so I'm like shooting this with a high ball. Looks like she's putting a little left hand spin on it. She's got a little work to do here. I mean, ultimately, if she can cut this two in, she has to be mindful of the scratch kind of back where she's standing right now. The cue ball tends to go back this way. Um, and he, she doesn't really want to clip the nine either, so it's a little tricky. See, I didn't like clipping the nine ball there. Clipping the nine ball made that more dangerous. Um, she got more movement off the clip than I expected. Expected, but all right so this is another one of those real first shots right you're gonna see Kaylee she's gonna put in the work and try to figure out the angle and the line of the shot to come behind that pink four go rail first on this too she also needs to be paying attention to the speed at which she hits this so that she can have a shot on the red five or the three she needs that to sit up don't get on the rail that was a nice little bump. That worked in hate Kaylee's favor there. Hi, Mike. This is Lonnie Fox Raymond. Thank you for tuning in. All right. What a great shot. Now, I can't tell. I don't think she'll go for the combination on the five. I think she'll just go ahead and play for the five. Even though I do think that it's possible that's a makeable combination. But why would you, right, when the five goes? Oh, she wants that cue to slow down just a tad, right? She would have actually, I think she would have been better suited to stay under the five versus going over it the way she did. But... Adrenaline's probably really high right now. She can go ahead and draw off this nine a little bit. Oh. Not sure. I think she hit that ball a little fatter than she intended. Oh, thanks, Cindy. Thank you. It was a rough one. Coming out of the booth after three hours in the booth trying to play pool for the first, like, six racks, I was a mess. <laughs> had to take a break, go outside, like, get cold, get some fresh air, and come back in and start over. I just pretended it was a whole new match in my brain. <laughs> Speaking of personalities, right? I had three different personalities going on in that match. <laughs> I really liked the last personality that showed up, though. Thank God for her. <laughs> All right. Oh, boy. You can see that this match is getting closer, and everybody's getting a little tight. Um, Emily's tightening up a little...
Oh, thank you for the donation. Swapping. I can only read part of that. Swapping one bottle for whatever. I don't know. It only says so many of the words. It doesn't say the whole thing. Thank you. This is your third super on our live stream. Thank you so much. I think it's for ours. It might be for other ones, but it says third super on a live stream. So shout out to swapping. Da, 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 da. You're a super chatter. All right, this is a little tester for Kaylee. This girl, though, she trusts her fundamentals. There is no doubt. Oh, she hits it so good. What a great shot. All right, she's getting closer. I think the sweating's starting to happen for Emily. <laughs> yeah. Cindy, I did have to pull it together. I was a mess. <laughs> oh, all right. This. One more rat closer. Told you guys, I wanted to see a Hill Hill Thriller. I don't mean no disrespect to the ladies, because nobody, when you're playing, wants it to be a Hill Hill Thriller. But for us here, we want to see it. <laughs> All right, Kaylee McIntosh score is currently seven to six in favor of Emily Duddy. Kaylee's on her way back. Let's pop over here and see what's going on with April Larson and Bonnie Arnold. April's currently on the hill. A race to eight. This is an elimination round match. So whoever loses here is out of the event. How you like that? Favor April here. She fell a little straight on this eight ball. Definitely fell straight on this eight ball. She has to be mindful of the scratch back in this side pocket. Kind of where she's standing. She might be able to slide it with some left hand spin. Just like that. She made it tough, didn't she? All right, Emily. Tina Larson has been eliminated by Pamela Kelly. So congratulations to Tina on a good event and to Pamela moving forward. I don't want to leave April shop. Emily's getting ready to break the balls. Oh, there you go. April Larson, the grinder, advancing. Bonnie Arnold, their tournament has ended right here. Oh, April grinder. April grinder. April Larson, the grinder, has advanced. Good match over Bonnie Arnold. Bonnie lost her extension. She doesn't know where it is. She's kind of wandering around looking for it. All right, Emily's got a real opportunity here. She's got a real opportunity. Somebody messaging me, not trying to be rude to y'all. This is a great hill match. Uh, she's on the hill, too. She has a real good chance to get out here. I think Emily will take her time and be be more diligent after the last couple of rocks that she's made some mistakes. Emily's very, very tough mentally. And so um, having played her a few times over the years, I know how tough she can be in these situations. Hi, Don. So, Allison is still on the A side, but you're welcome to follow along. If you go to digitalpool.com, you can kind of keep track of how the ladies are doing and find out which tables they were playing on. Uh, table three is our stream table. Now, occasionally we'll pop into table six or table one um, if we get done on the main feature table and I have time to do that. Um, but just like we popped over to watch the last couple of shots of uh, April's match in between racks on our featured table, we are able to pop in on Pamela Kelly and Tina Larson occasionally. Looks like Emily's got to have to, she's going to have to play a safety here. What a great shot by Emily Duddy. This is a big moment here. Um, if Kaylee wins this match, they're in a Hill Hill Thriller. If 
if she doesn't make a solid hit, pocket the ball or get a hook, Emily takes, you know, has a real opportunity to win the match from here. Yeah, I tried to link it. I'm not really, I'm not, unfortunately, I'm not really allowed. I don't have access to the chat. <laughs> you think I would, right? But I don't really um, can see what I can come up with. We'll wait and see after this match is over and see if I can't pin something. Well, Emily Duddy, Kaylee didn't make a good hit and she knocked in the seven. So three balls for the win for Emily Duddy. And to eliminate Kaylee McIntosh, the natural, from this event. This is a preference. Emily wants to make sure she falls on the good side. So she'd actually probably rather under hit that to get on the five than to over hit it. And I believe she just over hit it. Definitely got wonky. Wonky. That might be my new word. I'm not sure. That's what I was saying. I think you'd rather be under the five than over it. Like, and in this case, Emily's going to have to come with a big shot into the side pocket. Swing that cue ball around. One, two, three, rail. She tried to kill it and missed the shot. See, she's a little disappointed there. With ball in hand and three balls to win, typically I would say Emily is favored to win that rack. Something just kind of... So what I mean about the shift in momentum, it's weird how it happens, but it totally happens. Don't forget, everybody, to pull back, hit the little thumbs up button for this particular stream. We appreciate you. Make sure you're sharing uh, to all your favorite pool groups or to your local communities. Or maybe you have some friends that you know that play pool. Maybe tag them in the post when you share it. See if they'll share it. Um, and don't forget to subscribe to the WPBA YouTube channel and hit the little bell notification. If you hit the little bell, you'll always get notified when we go live, which will be going live once a month for the rest of the year. Oh, oh, oh. All right, Emily Dunny for the win. Wow, great match, ladies. Great match. Kaylee's not going to feel like that, but she definitely had a good fight back in her. Uh, congratulations to Emily Duddy. She will be advancing forward. Thank you to all the people in the chat for having a great conversation about these wonderful ladies. Um, and stay tuned.